Help me, wife. She's killing me. Pain is just weakness leaving the body. Pain is the body's way of screaming, leave me the hell alone. <sighs> Call her off, will you? You owe me. How do you figure? What do you mean, how do I figure? You're the one that smashed my kneecap with that IV pole. Oh, well, you should count your blessings. I wasn't aiming for your kneecap. I'm in this mess because of you. No, Luke. You're in this mess because you were plying a hospital chippy on the maintenance staff with bourbon-laced bonbons, if you remember correctly. I was doing that to try and give you leverage over Monica. Well, Monica is taking full responsibility for her actions. In fact, I am on my way to the hearing right now. You're not feeling guilty about trying to blackmail her, are you? Of course not. Blackmail is a time-honored tradition in the Quartermain family. So is showing support. Don't let up. Don't worry. All right, I want 20 of these. Come on. One, two, three, four. Hi. Hi, Elizabeth. I know your court date is today. I just wanted to come by and wish you luck. Well, thank you. And I have to say, for one brief second, I mistook you for Emily. I haven't been seeing Emily in everywhere I turn these days, thank heavens, but... It's understandable that she'd be on your mind. Yeah, well, it's some tribute I am paying to her memory and to Alan's by giving the bottle. Monica, with everything you've lost, you can't... And endangering lives and almost killing Sam. You know, she's not going to press charges. Yeah, I know that, but maybe she should. You think you're on this this roller coaster, this sort of downward spiral. You know that you're getting out of control. You know that eventually you have to make a choice. You have to fight it or or just do what I did, and that's let it all go. Just drink. If Emily were here, I know what she'd say. She'd say that she loves you, and that she believes in you, and that you really need to forgive yourself and try to move on with your life. I miss her. I miss them both so much. Me too. Get a postponement. It's the 45th anniversary and I have to be there. Alexis, wait. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, listen, at the risk of sounding like I'm trying to influence... This is about Monica's hearing. Rest assured, I'm going to do everything I can. Okay, I know. She's just, she's lost so much already, Emily. I get Alan. it. I do, I get it. All right. When they brought Sam into the hospital... I imagined what it would be like to lose a child. It's horrible. She's lost two. It's no wonder that she did whatever she needed to do to numb the pain. Right. In a way, I kind of blame myself for not realizing exactly what she was going through. You know, not, not seeing that she'd get help sooner. I feel the same way. You know that. Because truthfully, I don't think that you're handling Emily's death any well, better than she did. Really you want to get into this right to now. a surgery that would have saved your life, Nicholas, and yet you went out of your way to stop I know, but him. The, the, the medication that I'm taking for right how now is long? working. I, the I, only explanation that I have for this is that you want to die because well, you think that you're going to I don't, I don't want to die. Well, what you're doing, the choices that you're making are going to make yes, that we, happen. We need to focus on Monica right now. Can we do that? I don't want Monica to suffer any more than she already has. My goal when I get into that courtroom is to see that she gets the help that she needs. Okay. Thank you. Don't thank me. Just do the same. limp seems a little more pronounced today. I it? have been advised by my legal counsel not to talk to any of Monica's family. Good. Maybe you'll listen. No 
Don't even think about pulling any last-minute maneuvers that'll hurt my sister-in-law. You'll have to forgive my daughter. She is uh, trying to be supportive, but she's unaccustomed to that practice. I will speak for my entire family when I tell you how very sorry I am for the ordeal that you're going through. Sure you'd come. What was that about? I was practically an admission of guilt. She's up to something. Oh, I'm glad to see you. I, I think it'll be it'll be good for the judge to see you here in the courtroom. You know that you're not pressing charges. You're not trying to punish Monica. What I could say to you, I, I know what you must be feeling. Excuse me. The judge will be in at any moment. All rise. The Honorable Howard Morris presiding. Please be seated. This court is now in session on the matter of the state versus Monica Quartermain, on the charges of driving while intoxicated and causing serious personal injury to a pedestrian with her vehicle and leaving the scene of an incident. How does the defendant plead? Your Honor, my client pleads no contest. She will voluntarily enter an alcohol treatment program and will serve six months of community service. The DA's office seeks to impose no further penalty. I'm satisfied, Your Honor. Well, the court is not satisfied. You were so drunk that you were oblivious to the fact that you hit a woman and left her lying in the road. She could have easily died. Your Honor, I chose not to press charges because I know the grief that Dr. Quartermain has been going through. That's very generous, Miss McCall. Too generous. Everyone suffers loss. But that does not justify a person putting other lives in danger. Dr. Quartermain wants to seek help. Well, she should have sought that help earlier. Therefore, it is the judgment of this court Your that Honor, the defendant... Your Honor, Your Honor, wait, please. Who are you? I would be Dr. Quartermain's son-in-law if her daughter Emily were still alive today. Listen, Your Honor, Emily was brutally and senselessly murdered. And she would have been the person that Monica turned to during this time. And, and also, her husband died of a heart attack less than a year before that. You know, we need I, to no, move I just, Listen, just listen. I, under, I understand about what you said. You're, you were right. We all, we all suffer loss. But I, but I think this is different because Emily was more than just a daughter to Monica. She was this, this miracle that walked into her life when she was battling breast cancer. And she was the joy and the comfort in her life during that time. I'm asking just, just for a moment, imagine having that stolen away from you. And then maybe, maybe you'll be able to understand the depth of Monica's loss. <laughs> 